Today I'm going to show you how to make up a adapter to suit the uh, screw type terminals. These are the type of terminals that have a plate that when you screw down it squeezes onto the wire. Now then they're good if the wire is coming straight out but if you have to have the wire on an angle like such or off to the side like these you will notice that these are starting to uh, be pulled out so what you do is you make yourself up an adapter now this is what I've used and I'll just show you what the you make it out of. On an old uh, back of a uh, floppy drive or a old uh, hard drive or a computer you'll see some one of these connectors that have the bent arms on them. The normal pins, if I don't know if you can see this I'll show you to here are normally like a straight one out of that type. Now that's fine if you want the pull of the wire to be in that direction but this particular type they're angled. So all you have to do is to push them out. They may be a bit, if they're very tight you can just touch them with the soldering iron until they just start to slide then pull them out then you have this curved area and what you do is you actually solder your wire laying okay, laying down on the actual terminal so then let's say this one for example pin is like that and the connector is coming out at a 90 degree angle so you just solder your wire on and is then sitting at 90 degrees so if you want to place the wire in here you'd then just have it facing up or to the left or to the right or down and it's not bending the wire at the solder join so what I've used is a bit of PC board, push that through two so as they line up and then I just put the wire, solder the wire on. Now then what you do is that the gap between these are one pin out between two pins. So then what you do is you pull all the pins out and you're left with the black plastic. You work out which ones you have to remove, which ones you don't. Then you just push your wires in through the terminal so as they all sit down. Then you can twist them, heat shrink them or wrap them to the uh, position you want. Then you make up your mixture of the polymorphic thermic plastic you then make a long strand, long flat strand. You put one end of the flat strand on here, push it in, turn it around, and then that then covers the back and the front of these particular solder areas. Then while it's warm, you can just force it into position. If it does go cold on you, you then just put the whole lot in the boiling water, a little cup of hot water that's been boiled, put it in and force it in, force it around and separate. Now the wires are all sealed, very strong, they've got the pull against the uh, thermoplastic so they're quite strong. Then if you ever need to do any 
uh, soldering, just say one pin breaks for whatever reason. You then just put it back in hot water, that softens off and you peel it away. Do your soldering, put the same plastic back in the hot water and put it back on. Now I use one of these larger connectors for this end because it suited that a lot better and that's what I had around. But for this particular terminal I just used straight one single row of those. So there's a single row of those going across, push the bent pins in again and just put it up and squeeze it together and they screw in and out. So instead of squashing the wire all the time, they are tight on those pins. Very effective method, very cheap, you're recycling, you're reusing and it's highly recommended. Thanks for watching. Mm-hmm. <laughs>